Okay, viewers, my mini game here, and I'm just going to call this uh, Metal Gear Solid bonus. Uh, so, as we go over our score and all that, I did find out that our continues would be our amount of deaths. So, I only died, if that's correct, 73 times. That doesn't sound likely. <laughs> but yeah, that should tell you right there. I am shit awful at this game. But that's okay. Um, chances are, if you can get through the entire game with only, like, five continues, that's pretty damn amazing. <laughs> and highly possible. You can actually do it in zero continues, I'm pretty sure. I've, I bet there are people out there who have done it. And I was on normal, like I expected. So I don't know what that rating system would be for Iguana. But anyway, not important. So like I said before, I gave uh, gameplay 5 out of 10 mainly for the controls, um, though for like, you know, everything else, like uh, animations and all that, very f uh, sl uh, fluid, solid animations. They've got pretty amazing stuff for what, what it's worth on a PlayStation, you know. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, graphics, well, sadly, uh, from my play style, like, you know, my recording style and all that, at some points, the graphics did probably seem pretty bad, but I'm still going to give them like an 8 out of 10, because although the film parts were pretty good, you can't say that that's the, the best part about it. You have to be honest and say that the facial features and all that are very limited, and so that could even give it even a lower score, but I don't care about that. I think about like the whole... You know, and like the anime, like the pictures for the guns, the pictures for the body armor, the pictures for, um, you know, water and all that. Very fluid, very awesome. <laughs> now, but you know, that's still pretty awesome stuff, and it deserves a great score. On to the next thing. Um, let's see. Um,. Um, difficulty curve, I guess? I mean, it's not something you really number, but the difficulty curve is actually um, pretty bad, I would say, because it starts out with the game being pretty difficult, to, like, for lack of a better word. I mean, like, sure, I mean, I'm saying if you're new. I mean, if you're pretty good at the game, it's not too bad because you already know how to get through everything. But when you're brand new to the game, it's the difficulty curve is hard to hardest, you know, it seems to me. <laughs> Even on easy, I think it was like that. But anyway, that's not important. <clears throat> um, another thing, um, you know, the fact that you can use continues, you don't have to save, you know, too often. I mean, that's why I only saved 26 times, as opposed to many times that I could have saved, you know. <clears throat> On top of that, you know, let's see, um, what's another thing I could go over? Um, replayability? It's not something you really go over uh, usually until the end, but yes, I would say it's replayable. So yeah, I would give that a yes. Um, let's see, what else do you go over? I'm getting kind of tired, so it's hard to remember everything that you go over. Um, audio, I guess? <laughs> I would give like a 9 out of 10. I mean, there's not very many points in the game where the audio had issues. So I guess that's pretty good. Like, you have the gunfire, you have, um, you know, the silenced gunfire. I mean, you have all that stuff, and it's all really great, and it sounds great for a PlayStation game. Um, I guess I'll just say overall and then go into the story of my experience with this. I would say overall for this game, I would give it a 7 out of 10. Just because of my experience with it, it's hard to say that, um, like, I'm sure some people would give it a 10 out of 10, hands down. But I would give it a 7 out of 10 because, honestly, it just felt like there were some points in the game where... I had so many issues, 
And some would be like, well, that was your own fault. No, I mean, honestly, I felt like there was issues, and, like, I want to make them known. And, you know, some people are going to ask me, you know, well, okay, if you're going to compare this to the second one, which I was doing a while anyway, would you say that you would prefer the second one over this one? And honestly, from, like, the videos that I watched and stuff, because I haven't actually played the second one ever. Like, I played this one a little bit. Remember, because I bought this game and I played it to try it out. And I didn't get very far. I only made it to Mantis, you know? And that's when I was like, you know what, screw this. I'm not playing anymore. I'm going to figure out some other point to play it. And that's when I decided to do it as a Let's Play. And, you know, me with Let's Plays, I was like, well, i got to finish it. <laughs> you know, so I did. And, um... It just feels like, to me, it's like... Comparing it to the second game... It's hard for me to say, because... From what I've seen in the second game, it did fix a lot of things that needed fixed, in my opinion. But at the same time, it's like... You know... This game definitely worked with what it had. And that's all that matters, you know? And I already went over the three-minute time that I was like, gonna say. All in all, though, I would definitely say that this is a game that I enjoyed playing, despite everything causing me to cuss and freak out and get utterly depressed at some point. <laughs> to the point where I was just like, you know what? Screw it. I'm done. I'm not gonna play this for you guys, you know? I was like, I felt myself saying that to, like, saying that, like, being just like, you know, I'm done. I don't want to play this anymore. But, um... I don't know. It just felt like I had to come back and finish it. Despite the fact that that made no sense. You know, there was nothing tying me to this. I mean, yes, you guys were like, Oh, please, you gotta, you know, I want you to play it, blah, blah, blah. But that's not everything. I mean, even my friend said he was like, You know, you don't have to jump on this right away. You could easily just take a huge break. And I was like, you know what? I'm already doing it. I didn't say that to him. He doesn't know that I actually did this. He will once you see the episodes that start coming out. <laughs> and when I start talking about him now. <laughs> but, um... It's just a thing. It was just like, you know, I could have done anything. Anyway, I think you can actually hit X on this screen and move on. Yeah. Sure, I'll save over this. I don't remember what that's even on. But yeah, anyway. The only thing that's really left is, like, if I wanted to do something funny for you guys, I could do, like, the VR thing. What's this special? Previous operations and demo theater. What's it mean by previous operations? Oh! You can, like, read all of the, um... You know, one things. Being in combat with both his friends and foes as a hero and a lunatic. The Western nations have found out that a weapon of mass destruction capable of rewriting war history. Sunday development at Haven. They have called upon the high-tech special force unit Foxhound to take care of the situation in response to the, this order. Big Boss, commander-in-chief of Foxhound, sent Gray Fox, the man with the code name Fox, which is given to the best member of the unit. Tuesday, his last message being Metal Gear, Gray Fox was missing in action. Taking the situation seriously, the top men of the West again called for Foxhound. Big Boss selected Solid Snake, who has just recently joined Foxhound's agent and trusted everything to him. Suspected making a solo invitation to Outer Haven, Snake got in touch with local resistant members Shiner, Di Diane, and Jennifer. With their cooperation, Snake succeeded in rescuing Gray Fox. Gray Fox then laid out the terrifying facts about Metal Gear. Metal Gear was the development name of a nuclear warhead equipped two-legged walking tank. It can walk through even the roughest terrains that could stop normal tanks. It can conduct 
local warfare by itself with unique weapons like its Vulcan cannon and anti-tank missiles. It is indeed a new type of weapon that can conduct a nuclear attack against any place on the face of the earth from any land surface. With Metal Gear, Outer Haven was trying to establish its military superior over the entire world. I probably shouldn't read the rest of this, but I'll give you like a little reader thing for it so I can read it later too. But anyway, it's just one of those things where it's kind of like strange to me how I finally managed to, you know, beat this game and Hmm. I don't know. Interesting stuff. I don't know what this one comes up with. Like if this is actually like a, um, like if this would like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Spoil Metal Gear Solid 2 for you? I don't know what happens if you um, load this. If it just puts you back on the uh, one thing or whatever. But yeah, anyway, I'm not going to do that. Actually, I think the file I just saved over was my old one, which is kind of funny. Not that I care. <laughs> it's just like, you know, something interesting. But yeah, I think that's it for now. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Um, all in all, I hope you, um, are happy that I managed to complete it. I hope that you, um, uh, look forward to Metal Gear Solid 2 whenever that comes. Um, so, now that I've told you about it, and you already expect it, don't worry, it's not going to be a secret thing that I'm going to do later, where I'm like, oh, guess what, it's... Not Metal Gear Solid 2, it's some other game that ends up being Metal Gear Solid 2. No, it's gonna be Metal Gear Solid 2 whenever, if and when, well, not if, I shouldn't say if ever. Whenever it does come out, that's what it's gonna be. So, look forward to that. Um, I want to thank everyone who helped me through this um, difficult journey. I also want to thank all of those who, um, stuck with me despite all my failings, you know, you, I know you honestly would not want to really watch this entire game of me screwing up, but you did anyway. <laughs> Most of you at least, I'm sure. And any subscribers that came from this game, I thank you and I hope you stick around because there was plenty of other games that I have that are awesome to watch too. Not Metal Gear Solid esque, but you know, still, they're there. <laughs> anyway, thank you everyone. Have a great night, and I will see you when I see you. Bye. <laughs>